Hello, Dukesbury. Yes, here we are, and here we have another unboxing video. Another one, I hear you say. Yes, that's right, another one. I'll make this snappy. Some of you have probably got things to do. So, I won't keep you. First up we have a little ditty package. A little dinky package and I know what is inside this one. Interesting, this one's glued. Glue, glue, glue. No cell tape here. Inside, oh god, no, don't break it. Jesus Christ. This. Look what we have here. We have a tape of a Commodore 64, but this isn't a vintage tape. This is a brand new copy of Mayhem in Monsterland. This is the 15th anniversary edition. Look at this. Look how shiny that is. Commodore uh, format, of course, awarded it 100% just before the uh, magazine vanished. Commodore Force, 97% hurricane hit. Of course, Commodore format followed this game intensely. I remember reading about it from its initial conception through design through to release and they were avid fans so I suppose all they could do was is to give it a hundred percent especially as it was a it was their last issue wasn't it? Look at that. Look at that. Mayhem and Monsterland. Great game. I will be playing this. It's strange, the tape edition is more expensive than the disc, but I suppose it costs more to make them on tape. Not like it was in the olden days, back when discs were incredible technology. I still think they're incredible now. You've got a little disc and it just stores data. I think vinyl is amazing. How the fuck does, I don't know how it works, but Jesus, how do you record a vinyl? Incredible. I think it's incredible that it does work. Right, box two. Sorry. Oh, this has arrived already. I did not expect this to arrive quite so quick. <laughs> Again, this isn't old, this is new. And what it is. It's a Doom plush. It's a it's a pain elemental plush. <coughs> Look at that. These came from USA from uh, uh, Bethes Beth Beth Bethesda. How do you say that? Bethesda. Bethesda. Never considered even pr pronouncing it. It just pops up on the screen. I see it. I know it's a producer. What is it? Is it, is it is a publisher? It must be a publisher. Fuck knows. Just appears. And we have uh, the obligatory Doom going. Look at him, he's quite, quite a tall chap, isn't he? Helmet. Does his helmet come off? No, it's stuck to his face. You can stick your thumb down the side of his hat. His helmet is attached straight to his face. He's got a gun. I, I presume that is shotgun. Might be a gun from the third instalment. I don't recognise it, but then you don't. Let me, let me have a look from this perspective. No, I don't recognise it. There we go, Doom Guy, Pain Elemental. <coughs> Next on the agenda we have this one. And this one has it's just been wrapped in its original box. It's an old pay-as-you-talk phone. Look at this, Vodafone. Pay-as-you-talk. This was peanuts to pick up. I had to get it because it was boxed in your... This logo, this logo holds a lot of nostalgia for me. Even the little pound sign guy. Is that really what you want in a logo? It's probably why we don't have it anymore. 
Look, pay as you talk, you have to spend money. Sign up. I used to have a Vodafone Sagen. Not this one, this is far too modern. This, this is pretty advanced. This, is, oh, this? this must have been late, later 90s, 99? Possibly even 2000. Possibly later than that, when it was on the, on the budget range. But I did have a Sagem for my first phone. Oh, look at that, three cores. I wonder if that still works. I plan on, well, I'll, I'll be doing a video, hopefully, per day, uh, looking at stuff like this. So keep your eyes peeled. Not today, because today's video is this unboxing video. But in due course, keep your hat on and your pants, you filthy bastard. Okay. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why I sound like Farmer Christmas. I don't. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. I won't get these all out because this will be in another video before I flog them. It's generally the plan. Buy it, video it, vlog it. Keep the things I like. There we go, look at this. Look at this. This is Clang. This is a glow-in-the-dark Boglin. This is the one I used to have. <laughs> it fits a bit more snugly in the hand. Than it used to. It's a. It's not a full size Boglin. The full size ones had the eyes that you could swizzle around on the inside. This has just got two finger ports. I'll call them sockets for your finger. You stick your finger in, and whoo, it's clang. This is a glow in the dark Boglin. Should we test it out? Yes. Let's test it out. Shines in the light. Shining. Let's see if we have any glowing. Oh, God, how many lights have I got on here? Okay, can you see that? It doesn't come up on camera very, very well, but he is glowing his little face off. It actually looks pretty good. Looks pretty good in real life. Surprising. So yeah, there is a clang and I'll get one more out. Right, no, I'll get I'll get the box out. Got the box for Clang. Here he is. Here's the Clang box. Uh, diet popcorn, of course. Couldn't have pizza. That was taken by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles if you were in the UK, as I was and and indeed still am. So, biologist field notes. I have discovered these weird swamp creatures so that any biologists can learn their wonderful secret. Put one on and watch the fun begin. You wouldn't do that, would you? If you found creatures as a biologist, you wouldn't say, yeah, just slip one on, have some fun. That would kill the animal. Clearly there's something amiss here. I don't think these are genuine biologists. I think they're probably hunters. And they've killed these poor creatures Fucking laugh. So we've got a boink, clang, blap, split, splat, doink, and the two glow in the dark ones. In this box, I am informed that all of these boglins are inside. I'll get another one out for you. What the hell? You've been kind enough to wait around all this time. Be rude if I didn't. I'm a generous chap. There we go. 
Here's another one. This one is Boink. There you go. Look on the box. Boink. There's Boink. Is that Boink or is it Splat? I think it's Boink. This is Boink. These are in, it's in good condition. Very good condition. Look at that. Look, look at that. Feels so nice. So squishy. Oh, good little boggling. Do you have a cat? I've got cats. I stroke their heads like this. That's kind of how their faces look. And the, the little boggling, they sit inside the box. Like that, look at him. Oh, he's loving it. He is at home. So, there we go. If you want to see the rest of these boggins, stay tuned. Please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below. That would be much appreciated. And I hope to see you again. Goodbye.